I was really touched by how many people wanted to see a tour of my Van Vincent because, well, he's kind of a piece of sh Just kidding, I love you. This is my show, gosh darn. It's old, but we like it. What's up friends? My name is Miranda and this is another episode of Miranda in the Wild. And this is actually a tour of my van. Wow, the dog's just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> you know how a lot of people have starter homes? Well, Vince is my starter van. Well, I think it's awesome that some people can get these like really fancy, beautiful vans that look picture perfect every single time they share a photo on social media. Vince is not that, and he will probably never be that. This is just a, a van that I kind of threw together with my partner and it took us a couple of weeks and it was on a really slim budget. You know, I think really all that I needed from a van was something that could get me from point A to point B. And after a little bit of mechanical work, Vince could do that. So everything else is really just adding, you know, creature comforts. All in all, I kind of love him. And I love how not fancy he is. Sweet. Let's take a look. All right, so the first consideration when I decided I wanted to get a van was what type of van I wanted and how much I wanted to spend on it. I knew that I wanted something that was pretty stealthy, I knew I needed something small, and so I did some research and basically decided that the Chevy Astro was the right van for me, and that's how I found Vince. Before I did any of the design in the van, the first thing I had to do was build out the foundation. So the first thing that I did to the van was add plywood to the floor and then put down this like laminate sheet so that we could screw stuff into the floor of the van. This is just a vinyl rollout flooring that we got. It's really inexpensive. The vinyl flooring makes it really easy to clean the van out and also means we're like not walking around on plywood. In the walls, there is this, you can see it over here because this is a poorly cut wall. Um, we have this foam board. I think it's one inch foam insulation in there. This is the corner where you can see the insulation because I cut the wall too small. The ceiling actually used to have one inch foam insulation. I recently took that down because it just would not stick up there. And as you can see, the ceiling itself is actually just this like fabric that I sewed with holes for the magnets. So you can kind of see in here. Oh, there's still some insulation in there. Wow, wow. I didn't know that. These doors used to be metal, obviously, but replace those metal panels with these plywood panels. For the windows, we have these magnet reflectix screens. So these both offer privacy as well as insulation from the heat and from the cold. When we got the van, the windows were totally painted black, but they were painted black with this like paint that was kind of starting to flake off and it just looked really ugly. I actually painstakingly scraped almost all of the paint off of this window. For me, it's really nice to be able to see out the back window when I'm driving. I think for most people, that's a nice thing. And then that just magnets right in there and it's super easy. So this box right here is like the main storage section for the kitchen. You can see that I've got all sorts of things in here. The water, cooler, uh, jumpstart battery, and then like some kitchen things and the stove as well. I I'm no carpenter by any means, but I am pretty handy with a set of power tools and I really like to build stuff. When I built this box, it was actually the third time that I'd built anything for the kitchen. What I specifically wanted was something that would hold the water container. You can see that here. It's not perfect, but it works exactly the way that I need it to. Yeah, and I'm overall like pretty proud of the design. The other cool part of the kitchen is actually this new addition, this grid wall. It's awesome because it has these baskets that just like can move around uh, and I can keep all sorts of like kitchen things in here. We have forks, spatula, knives. I have a collapsible kettle, which is one of the most useful pieces of cookware ever. A book of vegan camp recipes that I made, some cleaning supplies cutting board and then just like other cooking things. And then we have the magnet over here, which has the broom, broom magnet. So this is the bed. This bed was actually, was one of the first things that I got in the van. It actually was built as a DIY van bed by my coworker, Dustin. Oh my gosh, look at her. We actually ended up retrofitting the bed for this van. Uh, the foam on the bed, this is just two separate pieces of foam that I made these covers for out of like a really cheap fabric that I bought. Cheap is a theme here in case you haven't 
figured that out yet. The way that the bed works is this whole front section pulls out and it's like slatted together. And then the two cushions come down and line up with each other. It's about 40 inches wide, which is about the size of a twin mattress. So really comfortable for one person and a dog, very snug for two people and a dog. Vince's full name is Vincent Van Gogh. This is a Van Gogh tapestry. This just kind of blocks the cab um, when we're sleeping. Really nice to have something like this because light will still come in. It's like waking up in the morning. It's just a curtain rod, one of those like adjustable curtain rods that we've just shoved up in here. <laughs> So under the bed is where basically all the storage is that's not food storage. So I have this one crate here, just put up the junk bin, uh, has a bag full of straps for the ceiling, some towels, hammock. This is the toiletries bag. Then also back here, have the two flex light chairs, my sleeping bag is down here, the Z light sleeping pad, which adds some more padding on my side of the bed. And then up here, there's this in. Normally this will be where I keep my clothing for a trip. Uh, and then the other bin is the dog bin. So this has all of Nala's stuff in it. This is actually like the most used bin in the van probably because Nala comes on all of my trips. And I did do a video on the dog tan essentials. So if you want to see everything that I carry for her, you can check that video out. The really nice thing about this bin is that there's actually still a ton of storage space in here. So we can put more food in here, just like pack things into this space without it really taking up the floor space. And in the back, I have these mesh pockets. Whatever I need to get to easily goes back here. And then these are cup holders, um, well, they're actually water bottle cages from bikes. They work as water bottle holders, uh, as like cup holders. I did actually stretch them out a little bit so we get a little bit more space. And then they also work to hang stuff, which is kind of nifty. Now for the stuff that makes the van cozy. I have this little rug here that will sometimes go outside of the van if we're changing shoes or we're like getting ready to go or whatever. Extra pillows, which are for comfort and propping myself up. They are not for sleeping. This is another new addition that I love. It brings in some nice color into the van. Plus my mom drew me this picture. Thanks mom. If you have any favorite artists that you think I should get artwork from and hang in the van, let me know. One of my favorite parts about the van is this little remote, which turns on the party lights. These are just using rechargeable batteries right now. So this is a scratch off map. Uh, and when I first got this scratch off map, I just started scratching off all the places I'd ever been. But then Sky told me that when you put a scratch off map in a camper van, you're supposed to only scratch off the places that the van has been. So I stopped, but you decide, is he right or am I right? The pictures are a new addition that I love. So many adventures. Ah, that's the photo of when we first got the van. I think that's it. So this is my DIY camper van tour. If you have any other questions about how I built out Vince or how to build out a van on a budget, let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you liked this video, hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and I will see you all in the wild. Arms are like everywhere. Yeah, bye. Dun, dun, dun. Cut to the montage! The doors open! <laughs> uh, van, super sparkly clean! Da -da zoom shot in on the driver's seat. Vom, 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 vom. Should I keep making sound effects to zoom to? Definitely, those are really good.